In this video, we will discuss about electronic configuration. What does it mean from subshell to shell? And also from this diagram, Linus Pauling diagram, we will discuss these numbers. What do they mean from 1 to 4? They can go up to whatever. These represent the number of shells. N represent the number of shells. When N is equal to 1, this means is first shell. When n is equal to 2, it's second shell. When n is equal to 3, it's third shell. When n is equal to 4, it's first shell. And it can also be represented by letter K, L, M, N, right? So inside the n atom, this atom here, is represented by subshells. There are some subshells in it. So for the first shell, there is subshell which is called S, right? There is S in first, S. So S carries two electrons. S carries two electrons. One and two. It carries maximum two electrons. S carries two. And uh, in the second subshell, it carries S and P. Okay. So S carries two electrons. S it carries two electrons. And P carries six electrons. In the third shell, it goes up to S, P, D. And the first shell is S, P, D and F. Okay. So this is very simple. The first shell carries two electrons. Let me write it down in an easy way so that you can understand S2, P6, D10, and F14. Okay? So here is how we will work out on these numbers, right? So for S there are two electrons, for P there are six, for D10, for F14, right? This is how we're gonna work out in this example. These are energy level and uh, soon i will show you how these subshells work right this is very simple i will show you the linus polling diagram to show you what does it mean shells and subshells diagram will look something like this 1s2 2s2 then we go to 2p6 3s2 and so on okay this will help us to find the electronic configuration of a certain element any element in the periodic table we will use this linus pauling diagram to find the electronic configuration of any element we want to work out on to start let me show you this one there is this very simple trick i will show you in a uh, vertical lines this is very simple very simple you will remember it. it's a vertical lines you just have to write the numbers starting from one up to whatever you want but here we will go up to eight or to nine right numbers because of our space right um i will give you this trick and you remember just write first one two three four five six seven eight okay we can go up to nine whatever but let's just stop here okay so this you make sure you leave some space in here make sure you leave some space between one line to another line so yeah let's start from here so here since we started from one this time let's start from two it will look something like a triangle okay but interesting look two three make sure you leave some lines here it has to look nice right we want things that look nice now okay remember to stop on seven because it it has to look something like a triangle so stop here on seven so this time first we start with one second with two third we are going to start on three spd each vertical line represents spd okay so for first line is s for second line is p for third line d and fourth line is f okay make sure it looks like a triangle from here and then we go here we start from three we are starting from three right and make sure you leave some space three four okay four you see the sequence is same like two two three three four four five five six six now we have to stop at six remember one two three four five so from here we start one two three and here it's eight to six now we are going for the four line the fourth line we're going to start guess what it's very easy right because it has to look like this see like a triangle so we are going to start from four okay you see line you see how beautiful this thing is <laughs> this is just beautiful these are the some tricks okay some trick i'm giving you because we don't like to memorize things right we don't like to memorize okay you see now it looks nice like a triangle if you had just continued it would look like just like a triangle 
something very interesting so okay from here this this is s right all of this the first line is always s first is s put s on all of it because it's first and it carries two electrons remember that s carries two electrons the second is p and p carries six electrons so let's write p on all of this p p p and the third one is d and it carries 10 electrons let's put d d d and d okay the fourth shell which is the last in this case it's f all right it's f f carries 14 electrons you see this is very easy what is going to happen next you will like it the next step now we are going to draw some errors some errors to just show you the level the energy level that this thing follows this looks like a triangle if you draw lines here it looks like a triangle right just remember that just remember that it's very 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 easy this trick is easy okay this trick is easy so uh, it's the same diagram that you see out there but the difference is that this follows a very simple step okay this is a very simple process you can do it it's, it's just a trick okay as i told you we don't like to memorize things right okay let's draw some errors here see, see? Uh, the next one here another one here and the last one here you see how beautiful this thing is these arrows will, will not show you any direction it was just organization of this so now the next step we are going to show you the order how this thing follows the order of this okay we're starting from 1s2 you all have to agree that we're going to start from 1s2 from 1s2 we go to 2s2 from 1s2 we go to 2s2 from 2s2 we go to 2 p6 okay 2p6 and from 2p6 we are going to 3s2 to 3x2 this is the direction this is a proper direction when you are doing electronic configuration make sure you follow this so from 3s2 we are going to 3p6 from here from 3p6 where are we going yeah, don't be confused don't go to 3d this 10 remember so you have to go to 4s2 follow this direction 4s2 now from 4s2 we are going to 3d10 okay into 3d10 3d10 now from 3d10 we have to follow this way we go to 4p6 and 4p6 we have to go to uh, 5s2 from 5s2 go back again to 4d10 okay go to 4d10 here go to 4d10 from 4d10 you go to 5p6 follow this direction you see how easy this thing is becoming here you can find the electronic configuration of any element given the periodic table this is very easy and funny uh, guys um if you are not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel for more more amazing content here you can always ask your questions thanks okay um the next step we are going to 4f14 after 4f14 we are going to 5d10 after that 6p6 and then 7s2 from 7s2 let's go to 5f14 right 5f14 we go here 5f 14 from 5f14 we go to 6d10 from 6d10 we go to 7p6 from 7p6 we go to a 8s2 so this is how this diagram works you see all of this so you 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 could have continued up to 10 whatever number you want depending on the element you want to find if the element is like 100 or 200 as proton numbers you can also find so now let's see the sequence uh, how this thing work now is 1s2 after 1s2 we go to 2s2 right so this is a sequence from 2s2 we go to 2p6 from 2p6 we go to 3s2 and you have to follow this order this you have to follow and you have to remember that spdf s carries two electrons um s carries two p carries six 
electrons d carries 10 and f carries 14 we have to remember always this we have to put these numbers we have to put these numbers 2 for s 2 again for s 6 for p and d is 10 etc so now we are here we go to 3s 2 right after 3s2 we're going to 3p6 to draw this diagram in class so that you know where you're going right don't be confused after this we're going to 4s2 um after 4s2 we are going to 3d10 you see 3d10 okay we have to know d has 10 electrons you have to remember this you always have to remember this okay 3d and then we go to 4p6 after 4p6 we go to 5s2 etc so you have to follow this you can use this to find the group and period of a certain number in the periodic table there are many elements in the periodic table right 118 so from these energy levels you have to know that there are also sub levels the first one is s the second is sp third is spd fourth is spdf you always have to remember this and s carries two electrons that's why there are two electrons in there the second one s carries two p carries six total is eight so there are eight electrons in here the third one s two P6 D10 so total 18 so the third one carries 18 electrons the next video we will solve problems to find the group and periods of elements